Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It is Tuesday, the 19th of September, and we are getting ready to do some flying. We are going to be flying over <clears throat> to Lake Havasu City. I hear they have a decent burger over there. I know, everybody says it. I think it's a meme. <laughs> So we are going to get out of here, and we are going to be going uh, from Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is where I left off in the Alphabet Challenge. I did a little bit of flying uh, this weekend, and this is where the plane ended up. So we parked it here, and yeah, this is where we're going to start. So I'm going to do some filing of some routes, and we're going to get ready to go. But everything is clear. Uh, all of the weather says that it's clear. Of course, my weather here in the sim is nothing like what I expect. So we're gonna go ahead and try to update that weather, and then we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. So we're gonna do a little bit of refresh this weather because the weather that I said has 10 miles clear. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we'll get that updated. So let's go ahead and take you into the sim. And here we are in our trusty uh, Arabesque Epic E1000. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna need to do, and I'll have to take you back to the loading screen for just a second, is I'm gonna go ahead and get us connected to Pilot Edge because this is the network that we're going to be flying under. Edge. There you go, as you can hear, we're now connected. So, let's go ahead and get the bags packed and loaded and get some uh, information over to the good folks at Pilot Edge so that they can help us uh, do some flying tonight. So, we're going to do an IFR departure for our first departure. November 143 Victor Tango is going to be our flight. And we are going to go from KGCN to KHII. That's Lake Havasu City. Lake Havasu City, we got to get up to... A little bit of altitude. We don't need to get up that high. We're only going. Uh, we're only going for about 45 minutes. A pretty short little flight. So I'm trying to think about. We're at 6,000 feet here. We're going to be landing at an elevation of 783 feet. I just don't feel like going that high right now um, we're both we're all in VFR conditions all the clouds are supposed to be clear should be just beautiful so why don't we check our MEAs en route and so let's take a look at the route real quick this is sky vector and so this is the route we're going to be flying. We're starting up here at Grand Canyon. As you can see, uh, it's pretty windy. 23022 gust 30. So it's it's breezy, as you might say. 30 knot wind. Uh, but it is 10 miles visibility clear. And looks like the sim just updated that. So now you can see that that loaded in correctly. And yeah. We're we'll flying all the way down here through the Beach Springs to Needles and then down to Lake Havasu City where the winds are much more calm at 209 uh, knots. So. Uh, I'm not really sure which 
which runway they're going to give me for 200. Because the runways are, I guess, probably the 1-4 uh, would be their would would be their standard approach. Um, so I'm going to plan uh, needles as my initial approach fix, and we're going to use the VOR DME Alpha to make the approach into 1-4. Uh, if we need to circle to 3-2, we can do that. Uh, but we have to circle to the southwest of the airport, so we are not authorized to circle northeast. So we'll stay southwest if we have to circle the airport. So that's uh, here's our here's our approach plan right here. So it should be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get this thing filled out. Epic. We are slant golf. So we have a transponder with mode, mode C, but we don't have any high level uh, altitude separation available to us. Um, and our route is going to be right here. We're going to go parks four. And we're going to go ahead and fly that parks four departure. Parks four to Peach Springs, Victor uh, 208 and then two needles. Good evening. So we'll say hello to our uh, to our to, to our controller here, whoever whoever this ends up being. So there we go. We got that all all in. I am going to grab a piece of paper so that I can write down my uh, my clearance, and then we'll be good to go from here. So let's go ahead and get into the plane. And we'll go ahead and get started. So first flight of the night. We're going to try to do three tonight if we can. So let's see how that works out. Planning on going until about 11, 11.30, somewhere in that range tonight. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be back again on Thursday. So I'm just getting my joystick set up. Uh, I use a Thrustmaster... Uh, T16000M uh, HOTUS setup is what I use. Has the same same basic setup for Go ahead and get that GPU started up. Turn on some radios. And we'll get ready to rock and roll. Awesome. Number 352 Quebec, November, go ahead. And we've already got some ATC chatter, which is kind of nice. 352 Quebec, November, Roger, uh, what do you want? <laughs> and what do you want? <laughs> Roger, climb maintain it's, uh, 2000. A good way to start. Good way to start. What do you want? <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the Grand Canyon. Let's see what the Grand Canyon has for frequencies here. Grand Canyon has ground. At KGCN. And the ground's over on 121.9. And then we have tower at 119.0, and then Los Angeles Center Los Angeles Center is on 124.85. And I'm going to guess that's going to be my departure frequency, but we're going to check the Parks 4 departure just to make sure. 
Los Angeles Center, 124.85. So we are good there. Hmm. I sort of sounded like I was here and somebody is transmitting, uh, clicking through their, uh, through their microphone. <laughs> I am not sure who that is, but, uh, that's going to be our departure frequency right there. So it's coming through on Los Angeles center. So let's go ahead and get this sucker sh set up for ground. One to 1.9. Look at that. We've already got it all set up. Okay. So, take a quick look at the Parks 4 departure. We're going to take off at a heading of 210 degrees. Once we get past 3 DME from GCN, we'll bang a right-hand turn to 270, and then we'll climb up and above uh, Goo Crew uh, at or above 10,000. So that will be our plan. And that's because there are uh, a few mountains here around uh, GCN. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get our flight plan uh, set up. So we're going to be cleared to Lake Havasu. City. And we're going to expect the Parks 4. Peach Springs, and and then as filed, we're going to guess uh, altitude. They're going to set us an altitude because we don't have that, and then we're going to expect. We're going to expect uh, 14,000 uh, after 10. Uh, our frequency we've already determined, he may not say it, is going to be 124.8. Eight, five, and then he's going to give us a transponder code. So let's go ahead and give them a quick call and let's get our clearance and then we can program and get the plane all started up and all of that fun stuff. Grand Canyon Ground, Epic 143 Victor Tango IFR to Lake Havasu City. Epic 143 Victor Tango, Canyon, uh, it's actually with Tower. I uh, make your request with ground, and also that I don't currently show a flight plan on file for you. Uh, very good. We'll check that, and sorry about the frequency, 3 Victor Tango. All right, let's try that flight plan again. Because we definitely have a flight plan in mind.
jump over a 143 Victor Tango. I've got all of that stuff set correctly. That looks good. Yeah, looks. So we'll go ahead and give this another try then. Grand Canyon Ground, Epic 143, Victor Tango, IFR to Lake Havasu City. Epic 143, Victor Tango, Canyon Ground, good evening. Clear to Lake Havasu Airport, Parks for Departure, Peach Springs, transition is filed. Maintain 10,000, expect 16,000 winter minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.85, squawk 4762. Clear, Lake Havasu City, Parks 4, Peach Springs as filed. Maintain 14,000, expect 16,000. Uh, frequency 12485, squawk 4762, 3 Victor Tango. Epic 3 Victor Tango, read back, correct, expect runway 21. We'll look for runway 21, 3 Victor Tango. All right, so we're going to get runway 21, so we're going to check to see if that does anything to our departure setup. Uh, I don't think that it will. Yeah, runway 21 is exactly what we were looking for, so that should be grand. Runway on ground, system 512 Delta Lima, at the South Transit Park, request taxi for a West Park over to to uniform. Uh, well, we're going to stay on ground for just a second. Two Delta Lima, Ramona Ground, Ramona 27, taxi via Bravo. So, code. Ramona 27, taxi via Bravo, Cessna 2 Delta Lima. 4762. And we'll put that right onto altitude right this minute. And we're getting blown around here just a little bit. Let's go ahead and close the doors, bring all this stuff in, and let's get ready to start this thing. Uh, we're going to do our flight plan. So, map, flight plan. KGCN. Insert our departure. We're going to depart on 2-1 for the Parks 4, and we're going to go right to Peach Springs. That's exactly what we're looking for. We've got to cross Goo Crew at or above 10,000, so that's an important uh, milestone for us. Uh, once we have reached Peach Springs, we're going to insert an airway, and we're going to use Victor 208, and we're going to go all the way to Needles. And that scroll does not work. Let's see here. Where's Needles? EED. You guys probably already saw it. There it is right there. Okay. Once we go to Needles... Uh, then we are going to insert a waypoint, which is going to be KHII, which is Lake Havasu City. And we're going to insert an arrival. And uh, we are going to use the... Actually, which? let's take a quick look here. Where is Lake Havasu Landing? It does not tell me. So that'll be interesting. Um, bah, bah, bah. So I am curious. The VOR32 and the VOR... So there's a different RNAV approach, but there isn't a different... So I think I'm just going to use the VOR DME Alpha for one four. Ramona Tower, System Five One Two, Delta Lima, hold on to two seven, ready for takeoff. And so we're going to go Needles, London. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Everything Air looks fine. Five One Two, Delta Lima, Ramona Tower, of course approved. One two seven zero one one, runway two seven, clear for takeoff. Runway two seven, clear for takeoff. Bearing two Delta, Cessna two Delta Lima. 
So, plan. Goo Crew, Peach Springs, and then into into the airport. Cool, looks good. Everything looks awesome. Let's go ahead and go flying. Let's get this thing started up. So we're gonna maintain here uh, one four thousand. That's our top altitude that we can go to. And we're gonna put in 1800 feet per minute right off the bat. That's gonna be our uh, vertical speed. And I'm hoping that when I hit the vertical speed button that will automatically just pop us right up there without any problems whatsoever. Let's <laughs> see if that happens or not. If it doesn't, we'll we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll put in 160 knots climb rate, and we've got our localizer already set. That's good news for us because we are going to need that localizer, and that localizer is going to need to be set on a course of. And I've said this already, but it's going to be the 239 outbound. 239 outbound radial. So we're going to take off, fly 210, and take a right-hand turn. So 210 is our initial heading. And we do that until this reads 3 nautical miles. Once that happens, we're going to make a right-hand turn to 273 and then we'll inter intercept this localizer. And if all of that doesn't look right, by the time we get there, we will hit the sky nav and pick up that sky nav, um, that sky nav link. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing started up. Beacon on, fuel pumps on. Let's get the fuel flow started. And auto select. And let's take a look here, and I'll press the, pull the prop back, and starter, condition lever up, and props full forward, that should bring everything up, we are officially started, excellent. So, let's go ahead and pressurize the plane, turn our autopilot on, high pressure. Uh, don't need the pusher yet, do need the starter generator. And let's go ahead and flip on some taxi and nav lights. Nav lights aren't required, but for safety purposes. And then we'll turn on our flight director and our yaw dampener. So everything looks, looks good from our perspective here. So let's go ahead and get ready to roll. Uh, let's do a little bit of a brake test. Brakes are working beta mode, just so we don't roll out of here real super fast. And check our positioning. And let's go ahead and start up Simlink. Simlink will let us connect to our moving charts. And we look golden. So let's go ahead and make that wonderful noise. And let's go ahead and get on out of here. Well, we probably should disconnect that guy. We really don't need that with us, do we? <laughs> Nothing like having a little generator attached still. Looks like we got a little Dash 8 just sitting there on the runway. That's kind of cool. Grand Canyon ground, Epic 143 Victor Tango, ready to taxi at. Uh, GA parking. Papa Bravo, three Victor Tango. Papa 
All right, so here we go, Papa Bravo. Go ahead and slow this down just a little bit. We'll flip over to tower. And I need to change just one quick thing here real super quick. Flip on some lights. And we are going from KGCN to KHII. Gotta update that. That's important on that stream there. Grand Canyon uh, Tower, uh, Epic 143 Victor Tango holding short 2-1. Uh, Epic 143 Victor Tango, Canyon Tower, wind 22022, gust 3-0, 2-1 clear for takeoff. 2-1 clear for takeoff, 3 Victor Tango. Let's get rolling forward. And we'll get ready to get out of here. It is breezy today. We are going to have a huge headwind. We're just going to be sitting still on the runway, and we're going to go on 30, 30 knots. All right, brakes are set. Beta mode's off. Lights are set. Weather and TCAS, and away we go. Good, rotate. Gear up. Gear up. And Autopilot, vertical speed, and heading mode. There we go. Speed is coming up. We'll give it some more power. Going for 14,000 feet. Our terror bearing five, system 512 Delta Lima about 10 miles to the east and our for landing with uniform. Havoc 3 Victor Tango, contact Los Angeles Center. Los Angeles Center, 3 Victor Tango. Okay, so we are going to turn now to the right. Uh, 273. Los Angeles Center, Epic 143, Victor Tango, 9,500 for 14,000. One four three Victor Tango, Los Angeles Center, Ident. Ident, three Victor Tango.
143 Victor Tango radar contact 10 miles southwest of the Grand Canyon VOR. Altimeter 3002, climb maintain 16,000. Up to 16,000, 3 Victor Tango. Epic 2, Quebec, November, contact SoCal approach 135.4. We're going to take some of that ver uh, horizontal speed and turn it into vertical speed here. As Marcus would say. All right, so now we're rocking and rolling. And so let me check on chat. Epic 2, Quebec, November, SoCal approach. Good afternoon. Expect the visual 2 6 left. Descend to maintain 1 0 thousand. Fly present at He had me a little further south than I thought I was, but that's okay. I'm going to start to pull back our, uh, our exhaust gases there. Are a Epic 2, Quebec, November traffic, 12 o'clock and 4 miles northwest bound. Altitude indicates 12,600 type of Wow, so we got a 35 mile an hour or 35 knot headwind uh, directly in front of us. So our ground speeds are going to be a little slow, but that's okay. We've got time. We've got time. Epic two Quebec November to send maintain six thousand. Alrighty, so here we are passing Goo Crew, and we're good here. We have got more than 10,000 feet. Uh, we do ha ha definitely have our passengers. And let's just make sure we're not gaining too much speed here. Doing about 190 indicated. Our true airspeed is almost 250. We're doing about 220 over the ground, so that looks pretty pretty darn good. Again, huge, just massively huge headwind today. Let's go ahead and go outside, check out the plane, and check out this scenery here around the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon's actually back that away, so let's take a quick look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Unbelievable. That's it right there. I mean, just couldn't ask for anything nicer, in my opinion, than, than high-res ortho. I mean, this part of the country is just gorgeous. It is hot, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, we got our loud typer back, whoever that is. <laughs> Somebody's got a microphone on Fox, and their mechanical keyboard seems to be transmitting. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Hammer them keys. All right, so let's take a look at our arrival. 
uh, information. And let's start getting Lake Havasu set up. So, VOR DME Alpha says what? The approach is 134.65, so I've got that right here in my secondary. And then there is no tower. <clears throat> Lake Havasu City appears to be a uh, unicom. So that's a thing. So we're going to change, get ready for that. That's the CTAF of one, uh, one, two, two, point seven. And that's like have a Sioux City Unicom. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that one. And. <clears throat> Yeah, should be should be smooth sailing from here, man. Our end way, our end point uh, is the beginning of the approach, and all of that's going to be golden. Epic two, Quebec, November to center, maintain four thousand field two to three o'clock and nine miles reported the same. Epic two, Quebec, November, Roger, intercept two six left localizer. So here we are, we got about 42 miles, 43 miles to go to Peach Springs, and we're just cruising along. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. Epic 2, Quebec, November, to send maintain 3,200. It's the lowest I can get you for MVA. If you're still in the clouds, advise, and I'll get you on an instrument approach if you need it. Fuel tank switched. So here we are. Doing a quick little shot. So this is where we are right now. And we're headed for Breach Spring. So we're almost there. And. Epic 2, Quebec, November. Roger, cleared visual approach 26 left. Contact Ontario Tower 120.6. So, so here is our approach. Very simple, straightforward approach. From Needles straight into London. Bang, bang, bang. If we miss, we climbing right-hand turn, direct to Needles, where we can hold at Needles. Our middle uh, minimum altitude at London is 3,500. Epic Zero, Juliet Alpha, contact, correction, Epic Zero, Alpha, Juliet, contact, LA Center, 134.65. With the needles altimeter, we've got all the way down to 1,800 feet, or 1,880. Uh, we save a little bit of additional if we have the actual local localizer, and we'll have that. We're six trees, Alpha, Juliet, LA Center, Roger. The uh, correction disregard. So the local altimeter is two nine or six eight over Lake Havasu. Two nine or six eight. And we've got 220 at 8 knots. Is the wind. So, wind's picked up just a little bit since we left. Oh, and look at that. We got some trees coming in, and all is good. That's some nice shrubbery. Nothing wrong with a little shrubbery.
I am going to go ahead and get my uh, nav radios changed over. And we're going to change this over to needles. Needles is not ready yet, but uh, we're going to flip it over since we've got the GPS uh, 105.2. I mean, normally we'd have Peach Springs tuned, tuned in at this point. Uh, but 105.2 is going to be needles, and we're going to need that uh, if we go missed. Because if we go missed, we've got a right turn 6,000 uh, direct to needles. And then we enter a holding pattern at needles with right turns at 6,000. So that's, uh, that's an important an important piece for us. And let's go ahead. We don't need any of that stuff, but we'll pop in the nav, the nav there. That will tell us which way the nav is. I believe. At least once we pick it up, we'll be able to use that for some information. Flying over some shrub grass here in the desert. And we're just hanging out. So I wanted to say thank you to a few uh, a few people while we were while we're here. We got a few follows even while I was off the air. Um, so I wanted to throw this out there to those folks. Uh, so Keith 210T gave us a follow the other day, which is pretty awesome. So thank you there, Keith. And uh, Creative C63. Gave us a little follow there. So we'll throw that out there. Thank you very much, Creative C63. Really appreciate the follows there, guys. Means the world to me. So Lake Havasu City. I hear they have a little party there every year. Little, little tiny party sometime in the spring. Little boats on the lake. I hear it's very relaxing. <laughs> oh, we're going in October. Or September, rather. It's not quite October yet. We are headed in, uh, in September, though, so that is, uh, I don't think there's going to be much on the lake here for us when we fly in. We're 778 to go, SoCal departure, roger. So yeah, we're about to reach Peach Springs here. So we're going to be making a left-hand turn onto Victor 208, where we have to maintain uh, 9,000, and that's going to leave us about 
20 miles. How long is this distance? Now oh, it's a good long way. It's a good long way. So we're still 11 miles from Peach Springs, and then we got 47 miles. 7786 Gulf, turn left, heading 160. So this is actually much, uh, much lower than, uh, much longer than I expected, and uh, we're much lower. We could have gone significantly higher uh, and saved some of the Jet A fuel, but it's okay. I don't mind puttering around, burning virtual fuel down way down here. Gives us a nice good look at the ortho out these giant glass windows. Little chase cam, little belly of the plane action. Let's see if we can get one of us coming by. Here we go. Nice little. There we go into the distance. So let's see here, what is our altitude going to be for the VOR DME Alpha approach? So we're going to be at 4,000 to start at Needles. So we are going to have to come down 10,000, basically 10,000 feet. 512 Delta Lima, SoCal departure, or radar contact. Ten thousand times three means we're going to need about thirty miles from needles. Number six, a Gulf turn right ten degrees. Approaching waypoint. November eight six Gulf turn right ten degrees. Ten ten more degrees, please. <laughs> Is that twenty degrees? If he asks you twice, I'm just curious. Just sinking up the old heading bug there. We're about to bang a left. So we'll want about 30 miles down uh, to needles. So about 10 miles before we get to Haddock is when we're going to want to make uh, begin our descent down to needles because we're going to want to be at 4,000 uh, for the approach into needles. And he may take us off to the right here a little bit before we, uh, so we don't come in at needles at such a strange angle. Go ahead and sync up our heading bug here. Always good to know where this is. Or he may have us fly a, a hold in lieu of procedure turn. Doesn't actually say to do that on this chart. I am going to go out and check the Lake Havasu uh, FAA charts and see what these things say. Circling not 
allowed northeast of runway 1432. So again, we're going to be circling. If we need to circle, uh, we're going to be circling to the south and the west. So that's good to know. He may even have us descend in the hold because the MBAs in this area are pretty high along this route. So he may not actually be able to get us down. We'll have to wait and see. And our clicker is our mechanical keyboard typer is back. That's always fun. <laughs> You gotta wonder who's who's there just one key at a time. <laughs> click, click, click. Uh, good times. Good times. Seven seven eight six Gulf leaving Bravo airspace southbound resume on navigation VFR altitude at pilot's discretion contact SoCal approach on one two eight point one. So I have this strange feeling that we are going to need to circle Fuel tank switched. and that we're going to need to rent land on uh, runway 32. Just have this feeling. Because there's no way I'm landing with a 22 knot tailwind. <laughs> we're going to circle before that happens. 7786 Gulf, SoCal approach, Roger. The John Wayne altimeter, 2986. Got some beautiful, beautiful terrain there. It's crazy to see all these roads crisscrossing the desert like that. All of our flight, everything is in the green. Everything looks good. Altimeters are right. Everything looks golden, except for a 22 knot headwind. <laughs> and we got needles alive, so that's good. Again, we want about 30 miles from needles is what we care about.
Los Angeles Center, good evening. Eastern 2291, flight level 273, climbing 340. Hey, good evening, Hunter, HD, HD Hunter 152, welcome, welcome. I am hanging out here on a quick flight from GCN to Lake Havasu. We're flying in the Epic E-1000. Eastern 2291, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. And we're flying on the Pilot Edge Network. November 6, trees here off at Tango, contact SoCal, correction, Los Angeles Center 124.85. Feel free to ask me any questions that you'd like. Um, November 6th. Epic Zero Alpha Juliet, contact Los Angeles Center 124.85. And this is, oh my god. 143 Victor Tango, contact Los Angeles Center 134.65. 3465, 3 Victor Tango. Or 512 Delta Lima, contact SoCal Approach 128.1. So just got a whole bunch of handoffs here. So we'll give him just a second. We're not in any real hurry. Make sure we don't hear anything on the radio. Number six three zero off Juliet Los Angeles Center Canyon altimeter. Ah, there we go. Three zero zero three. Different controller. Gonna pass discretion maintain one thousand. We got a little controller change. Los Angeles Center, Epic 143, Victor Tango, level 16,000. Epic 143, Victor Tango, Los Angeles Center, Needles, altimeter 2967. Bajah, weather for Lake Havasu. 2967, we have weather and we'd like the VOR DME Alpha approach through Victor Tango. Sky 512 Delta Mesa, Calipers, Jamon, Altimeter, 2985. United 241. So got departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 13000. Aussie 20 end via the Disney One arrival. Epic 3 Victor Tango, you want to take the approach from Needles? Roger, 3 Victor Tango. Epic 3 Victor Tango, cross needle, correction, direct needles, cross needles at or above 6,300. Clear VORD me alpha approach. Cross needles 6,300 or above clear. VOR, DME Alpha approach, clear direct needles, 3 Victor Tango. Let's see if 1800 gets us down there in time. Oh yeah, we can do less than that. As a 20 Los Angeles Center. And pull back on our speed a little bit. We don't need to be going that fast. And so let's do a nice even 1600 down. United 241 contact Los Angeles Center 135.5. <clears throat> and that'll bring us down just before needles. What I'm looking at is this little banana bar right here. This little banana bar tells me when I'm going to reach the altitude that I've set based on the 
how far down I want to go. And then we're going to be good to go. United 241, Logical Center, climb and maintain flight level 230. Ozzy 20, Los Angeles Center, your 5 5 hear me. So she cleared us all the way in, so that's kind of cool. We're going to make a left-hand turn. That is turn. correct, thank you. And we're going to see where the wind is coming from. If it's at our face, then we're good to land right on 1-4. If not, then we need to... Sixty three hundred is going to leave us very high. Or two Delta Lima for the change approved. Caravan 86, golf contact circle approach 128.1. Seven miles to go down 3,500 feet. That's pretty quick. Jeez. I need to go up this Sky to Delta Lima, thank you. Los Angeles Center, Epic 143, Victor Tango. Quick question if you have a second. We're showing uh, the approach to VOR DME Alpha at Needle starting at 4,000. I just want to confirm you've got us at 6,300. That's the minimum factory and altitude that I uh, am able to get you is lower. Um, I.e. that basically means you have to do a procedure turn in the hold to uh, descend to the altitude. Uh, Wilco, 3 Victor Tango, thanks for the clarification. No problem. I have Zero Alpha Julia, do you have approach request in a canyon? So we're going to set 210 on our heading as we get closer because I know now what that means now. <laughs> So we're going to do a procedure turn into the hole. Thank you. Expect visual approach from two one. So we're going to fly straight through. We're going to uh, hit a 45 degree turn for one minute, and then we're going to come back in and intercept the 139 radial inbound off of needles to get down into the procedure turn. So that makes good sense. So we're actually going to go into heading mode here. I'm 
think that's going to be the airport right over there. Approaching waypoint. So we've reached our 6300. We've now crossed. Or we're about to cross needles. Okay. 45 is 254. So we're going to go ahead and swap that to 254. And we're going to start our descent down to 4,000. Uh, and 1,500 down, negative. Timer is running. We are good there. And now we're going to turn to 339. slow down because I don't want to be gaining speed right now and really we probably need to be going this way to win correct United 241 contact Los Angeles Center 133.55 Have one at one thirty nine, and let's go ahead and bang this right hand turn. You know, two forty one, Los Angeles Center, Columbia, maintain flight level two eight zero. Hook it up on nav, and we'll start going back towards needles. That's coming in. We flew right through it. Eastern 2291 cross uh, Joey. Correction, Joey's. I made you flat level 240. Epic Zero for Juliet, Canyon Airport, 12 o'clock and 1 4 miles reporting site. Epic Zero Alpha Juliet, Pippage Approach, Runway 21 Contact, uh, Canyon Tower, 119.0, Raider Services Terminated. Aussie 20, Contact Los Angeles Center, 126.35. Approaching waypoint. Oh, 
Okay, so once we cross needles, then we can go down to 3,500 feet. Ozzy 20 at Los Angeles Center, 126.35. And our M eight hundred, and we know because we checked the weather here, it is six eight two nine six eight on the altimeter, and that's our minimum to site altitude. United 241, stand by. There it is right there. That's the airport. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that vertical speed button. On our way down to London. Los Angeles Center, Epic 143, Victor point. Tango has the airport site. Right. Victor, Victor Tango, we're going for cancellation. This, uh, this frequency missed approach or uh, once you're on the ground and uh, radar search is terminated. Change to advisory frequency approved. Roger, Los Angeles Center, we'll cancel IFR now. Three Victor Tango. Five Victor Three Victor Tango. IFR cancellation receives squawk VFR frequency change approved. VFR frequency change approved. Three Victor Tango. Thank you very much. United two four. And I'm still waiting. Lake Havasu City traffic, Epic 143 Victor Tango, VOR DME Alpha approach for runway 14. Uh, Lake Havasu. All right, let's go ahead and just take autopilot off. And let's just go ahead and fly this bird. So we've got a, a bit of a headwind. The We're going to go ahead and slow down. We've reached minimums are coming up, 1,800. Gear down. Let's go ahead and get our gear down. We're going to have a bit of a crab landing here. And try to keep it on the runway. I'm going to land with less flaps just to, just to help keep it on the runway here. Definitely left there. Lake Havasu traffic, Epic 143 Victor Tango clear of runway 14. Uh, taxi to parking, Lake Havasu traffic.
And we'll give a quick look. Make sure that there's nobody else moving here and we'll go ahead and just taxi right over to parking. And we'll go ahead and park it up right there. There we go. So let's go ahead and pull the props back. And that back. And let's bring all of that up. And let's bring up our ground power unit. Because we don't want to lose power. But we'll save a little bit of fuel. So there we go. We made our first flight. And we're here at Lake Havasu City. So our next flight that we're going to do, it's another quick little flight. And we're going to leave from here and we're going to head up back to the north, back through the Needles, uh, the Needles VOR again. So it should be a fun little trip. And we're going to try to pick up flight following on the way. Rather than, so we're going to file a VFR flight plan this time. Instead of an IFR flight plan. It's a little bit, it's definitely shorter distance. And we're just going to fly basically right back up uh, towards, v, towards Needles. And then we're going to be going to uh, Laughlin Bullhead International. Which is... It's a short little jump. It's about 20 minutes. And at our speeds, it may be even just 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, so our altitude is going to be 4,000. And yeah, it's really just a straight shot out of here. So we're going to check PE aware make sure that I have I have my flight saved yep there it is let's verify that it shows that we have arrived we have arrived of course we have of course we've arrived. We'll submit our flight to the alphabet challenge. Good to go. And we'll do our next one up to Laughlin. And this one should be a quick, quick little jaunt. So let's go ahead and let's clear our flight plan. Delete flight plan, insert a waypoint, K, okay. HII, uh, Lake Havasu City, and we're going to insert a waypoint, uh, EED, which is needles, and then Laughlin is. K-I-F-P, Laughlin International. So we're good there. And this is our India route. No, no, this is our hotel route. So this is hotel. So we've got no big deal getting out of here. We're going to get up in the air and we'll hit Los Angeles Center and we'll get a new transponder code and all of that stuff and there is good this is a towered airport and so we are going to want to look at some sort of approach to this guy we're gonna, probably going to land on 
Yeah, I bet we just get an enter right downwind on this guy. So I think we don't do any of this nonsense. I think we just fly up there and say hello. What do you guys think? I say we don't even talk. I say we just go straight over there and we talk to Tower on... Uh, that's going to be on one, two, three... Uh, point niner. One, two, three, point niner. Because by the time we get up in the air and all of this stuff, we are just going to be getting ready to come down. They are elevation of 620. So let's check out the Laughlin uh, ATIS. Is departing runway 16. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have Papa. Laughlin Bullhead International Information Papa. 0020 Zulu. Wind, 150 at 20. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 1 2000. Temperature 35. Dew point 0. Altimeter 29064. Visual approach runway 16, in use. So we're good there. So let's follow a VFR flight plan, November 143, Victor Tango, that's us, Epic. We are a slant gulf. We don't actually need to do all of this. Uh, we're gonna put it in 220 as our true airspeed. Our departure is KHII. We are going to KIFP, cruising altitude of, let's see, which direction are we going? So, we're actually headed 335 as our, so we're technically headed to the west, even though we're headed north, and so north is odd, so anything from 0 to 180 is odd. And the other way around is even. So we're going to be at an even altitude. So, yeah, why don't we just pop in at 3,500? Well, and anything below 3,500 doesn't matter. So we could pop up to 4,500 without too much of an issue. So we'll go ahead and just pop that in 4,500. And we'll have a climb rate of 1,800 when we get out of here, so that's fine, 160 knots. And we're going to be direct needles, uh, so that's easy. Let's see what our departure charts say. Let's see what the Lake Havasu departure charts say, takeoff minimums. So let's take a look at that. Obstacle departure procedure, climbing right turn, heading, so climbing right turn, heading 300 to intercept EED VOR radial 155. EVOR, continue to climb Cross at or above 6,100 before proceeding on course. Interesting. Okay. So, for runway 14, in visual con conditions, cross Lake Havasu City Airport, northwest bound, at or above 2,300, then intercept the 138 radial northwest bound at or above 2300 then intercept uh, the VOR 138 radial continue to climb uh, in the VR holding pattern east right turns 275 inbound to cross at or above. Okay, so we've got to do some actual flying here, which is kind of neat. Uh, we can't just shoot out of here, but we've got to get up to 
6,500 at needles, which is interesting. Okay, so runway 1-4. That's how we're going to take off. We come back to Lake Havasu Airport. We've got to be at or above 2300, which should be no problem for us. And then we want the ERD 138 VOR to 6100. So we're going to have to go higher than this. So we'll put in 6,500. Before proceeding on course. Okay. So the 257 radials uh, alternate here is uh, 077. So we're going to head outbound on 077. And we want to be east, east of the Needles VOR. Okay, we can do that. Two fifty-seven. Not a big deal. So they want right turns. Right turn. I'm just looking at a chart here. So here's what I'm looking at. Just FYI. So here's the 257. And so they want us to come out here, make a right turn, and come back in. And this is where they want our holding pattern. Now, it's different than this particular holding pattern that they show here, but this is not the one that they described in the chart. So, we're going to do what they told us to do. Um, so, in order to do that, how do we enter that hold? So I think we fly straight through, we bang a left, and then reattach on to the 257. So we do a little teardrop entry there. I think that's, no, I'm sorry. That's parallel, parallel hold entry, parallel hold entry. So we're gonna head outbound on the 257, bang a left, and then insert. So yeah, we'll do a little teardrop entry there. Um, and we gotta do that until we reach at least 6,100 feet, and then we can proceed on course. So that's super interesting. Super, super interesting. So, let's go ahead and pop this up. And let's go ahead and get this stopped. And we will start the plane. Our igniters are on. Everything looks good. Let's kill some of these lights, at least for the moment. And we'll press the start button. And we'll introduce fuel. And brakes are on, so we're good there. Check engine. Absolutely. The engine has been checked. <laughs> Absolutely. And I need to fly file a finish filing this flight plan. 
6,500 feet EED. This is a VFR flight plan. So let's go ahead and pop that sucker in. Filed successfully. And here comes our hotel challenge. Hey there, 777 Coal Train. How are you doing tonight? Sorry, you caught me in just a touch of uh, flight planning. So I'm doing a very, very short little flight. We're doing the alphabet challenge. Uh, also, hi there, uh, Sean. Uh, S Shawnee STLE68. Is that St. Louis by any chance? St. Louis 68. Uh, so we are in. Let me go ahead and show you the plane. We are in the Arabesque Epic E-1000. It's a beautiful little plane. And we're going to be doing a very, very short little hop. It's literally only about 25 or 30 miles uh, from Lake Havasu City up to Bullhead. We are on the Pilot Edge network. And we are going to be flying... Uh, over there really quickly. It should only take us about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're going to do another flight after that. So, if you guys have any questions while we get up and out of here, uh, it, it should be an interesting little flight because we do have some very specific requirements for takeoff here that we're going to have to follow. Uh, and then we're going to contact uh, Bullhead Tower. And Bullhead Tower... Let me make sure that my radios are set up for Bullhead Tower... Bullhead Tower is 123.90, so we should be good there. We are on COM2, and then the last thing that we need is the traffic, to be able to call traffic out of here. <laughs> and I think I just replaced that here just a second ago. So how are you doing tonight, Coltrane? You uh, flying in the 777? One two two point seven. So let's go ahead and get this set up. One two two point seven. All right, let's get out of here. Lake Habasu traffic, Epic 143 Victor Tango leaving parking, taxi to 14 via Alpha. All right, let's go ahead and rock and roll. And this sky view is really not going to do me much good, at least initially. So I'm going to go ahead and program this guy. And we're going to set this for 257. So let's go ahead and get up out of here. Bang a left. And we'll head down to 1-4. So I hope you guys will stick around. We got a nice little flight and then another one coming up after that. And we're going to be, I've got ortho cover in this whole thing. So you'll get to see some really beautiful desert views here in just a minute. So we're going to take off, start our climb. We're going to cross back the air, over top of the airport. 
and once we cross back over top of the airport, we are I'm going to make a right hand turn to do that. Then we're going to head up to Needles, and once we get to Needles, we're going to enter that hold that we talked about if we're not at 6,500 feet already, or 6,100 feet already, I should say. And slow down, add some brakes, and let's get some lights on. And I got a little sun reflection, so I'm going to make sure our starter gen is on, our pusher is on, our inertial separators are on. We are good to go. So we'll look out the window. We don't see anybody on final. We'll look out this window. We don't see anybody coming down the runway at us, so that's good. Lake Havasu City Traffic Epoch 143, Victor Tango. Um, departing runway 14 for right downwind departure, 3 Victor Tango. Okay. I'm just letting any of the other VFR planes around here know that I am. We are squawking altitude on 1200. That is good. That is what we want. And bring up our heading one. Let's get out of here. Gotta love that crosswind. Gotta love that crosswind. And uh, let's go ahead and pop Auto the autopilot on. And let's get back into heading mode. We do not need to be going up this fast. And let's hit the KIS button because that is Fuel tank just too much altitude, too fast. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're up. That was a little crazy. That was a little crazy. There we go. Lake Havasu City, Epic 143, Victor Tango, right crosswind, Lake Havasu. We are going to have no problems whatsoever departing this area. Let's go ahead and keep the turn going. Lake Havasu traffic, Epic 143 Victor Tango, right downwind departing the area, Lake Havasu. There we go. So, we're going to continue back over top of the airport because that was their instructions. And then we're going to intercept the radial 138. Let's see which way this goes. That is the wrong direction for what I want to be. So we're going to add two, and we're going to call that 318. There we go. And so let's make that left-hand turn. And nav. We're going to make our altitude with plenty of time to spare, so no worries. Lake Havasu traffic, Apple 143, Victor Tango, departing uh, north to Needles, last call, Lake Havasu. So there we go. That is that, and we will listen for this whole thing 
but we are on our way to needles and then from there we are going to look for our approach vectors. So I am going to get ready and switch directly over to tower because we're only going to be here for just a minute or two. Wow, look at this. So let's let's go ahead and pop out of the plane here just real quick. Oh, gear up. Let's put our gear up too. That's that's probably smart. And we'll pull back on our throttle. We don't need need to be going any faster than we're going right this second. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? Isn't that really cool? Look at that little water, that little river, the little floodplain thing going on. Uh, right in the middle of the desert. Just sort of neat. Just sort of neat. In my opinion, just sort of neat. Approaching waypoint. And we'll switch this over to nav mode so that we get this little right hand turn in. And I am going to set in, uh, insert a new waypoint. Uh, insert a new waypoint, and we're going to call this thing C A L R A. It's a nice little fix. And we're going to say direct to that waypoint. So. It's about 10 miles to Klar. And we know once we get to close, within five nautical miles of Klar, we can descend down to, uh, we can descend down to 4,300. So we'll go ahead and get that entered into as our next uh, point there. And we are going to just fly over there real super quick and have a good old time. Now check my stream. Audio seems to be working okay. I'll try to re reposition that so you guys get a little more volume out of my mic. And... While we're doing this, I'll change the flight because we are now going from KHII to KIFP. There we go. Update that while we're in the air here. Update that while we're in the air here.
Oh yeah, let's go ahead and start our descent. Negative 1,800. And let's flip over to tower. Pull back the power. We're going to go ahead. Oh, yeah, there's the airport right there. One, two, three point nine zero. Bullhead City Epic One, uh, Bullhead City Tower, Epic 143, Victor Tango, 11 miles south for a full stop. One four three Victor Tango bullet tower keeping in her left down one runway one six report make field the altimeter two nine or six four. Two nine or six four left downwind for one six three Victor Tango. Cool. Left downwind, not what I was expecting. Uh, probably has something to do with those hills there. And we're gonna go all the way down to sixteen hundred feet. Uh, negative 1800, negative enter. Keep that descent going. All strings ground, Learjet 3450, Papa taxi uh, information, Sierra. I believe it's the Atlantic ramp router. Yeah, 1600 should be good. 3450, Papa Palm Springs, ground runway 31 left, taxi by Alpha. Okay, 31 left by Alpha. What, what's the name of the ramp right here? Uh, yeah, the Atlantic, the Atlantic ramp is definitely down in that area. That's the Atlantic FBO area for sure. Okay, thanks. Burbank Tower, good evening. Eastern 2291 is uh, nine miles out. ILS runway eight. Eastern 2291 Burbank Tower, good evening. You win one five zero at seven runway eight. Clear to land. Runway eight, clear to land. Eastern 2291. Six Alpha Fox, track Charlie all the way into the ramp. Remain this frequency and uh, look good for the I four. I did make a wrong turn in there. I made a left instead of right. Still a pass. I feel like I should redo it anyway. If you'd like to do it again, you're more than welcome to, but uh, I never heard uh, to not give it a pass. All right. Well, thank you. I probably will do it again. It was kind of fun. Thank you. Six Alpha Foxtrot. Sounds good. You'll get a different airport next time. Approaching waypoint. Palm Springs Tower, Learjet 345, Sierra Papa 31 left, ready. Flaps over Spain. Oh, Three, four, four, five, Sierra Papa, Palm Springs Tower, the wind 30012. Runway 31 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 31 left, 345, Sierra Papa. Bullhead City, Epic 143, Victor Tango, midfield. 3 Victor Tango, thanks. Runway 16, clear to land, wind 140 at 17. 16, clear to land, 3 Victor Tango. Alright, we'll go ahead and do full flaps here. Ten turn.
We are going to overshoot it. Later fights here, Papa can exit Cal approach. Or so Cal fighter pops, yeah. Gear down. Here we go, best landing of the night, right here. Nice and stable. And... Touchdown. Beta mode. Still slowing down. Ramp break tower is 2291 is clear to the right on the ramp. Easter 2291 right through taxiing to the ramp. Have a good night. Thanks, good night. Eastern 2291. Bullhead City Tower, Epic 143 Victor Tango, clear of 16 Alpha 5, General Parking, please. 3 Victor Tango, Roger. Alpha to the ramp. You can remain this frequency. We'll see you later. Alpha to the ramp, 3 Victor Tango. Fuel tank switched. Las Vegas Clarence, good evening. American 6295, IFR2 Phoenix. Clean up the plane here a little bit. And 6295. Looks like you still have the old. Uh, the routing's good. You have Salt Lake, the Vegas in there. I'll just have to fix that up. I'll be with you in one second. It's not requesting it. All right. So let's go over here and park in the general aviation area. You would have thought there would be a plane or two out here. American 6295, clear to the Phoenix uh, Sky Harbor Airport, perfume for departure, then us filed, climb via SID, squawk 1526. So there we go. Okay, American 6295 is clear to the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, perfume for, then as filed, and uh, s climb via the SID, squawk 1526. American 6295, Rebecca. Great. So let's go ahead and square this up just a hair. And we'll pull back power, turn off beta mode, turn off the starter gens, kill some of these lights, and bring on the power. So, there we go. A little VFR flight from Bullhead uh, from Lake Havasu to Laughlin Bullhead International, known as Bullhead City Tower or Bullhead Tower. So there we go. So now we can go check PE Aware. We'll do another call sign search. And looks like it captured. Yep. All of that looks good. That's what I filed. That's what I flew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we'll go ahead and submit this guy for the alphabet challenge. 
right now, so far, only a, a 112 people have done this amount. So we'll make sure that that goes up to 113. And it did. So that's really super interesting. So I am going to take a very short break here for just a second. And I am going to go grab a, uh, myself a drink. And then from there, we're going to be going on to our next flight, which is from here at Laughlin all the way to Jacqueline Conquerin Regional. So should be a really super interesting flight. So we'll be back with you here in just a little bit.
Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I am here again in the Arabesque uh, E1000. Took a short break. Went out. Uh, opened the doors. Let folks out of the plane. And now we're going to be doing our next flight of the night. So this is flight number three. Flight number two was really super short. But flight number three, we are going to be going... From Laughlin Bullhead to Needles, down Victor 208 to 29 Palms, and then to Thermal. So this is EMP. So there we go. That's our that's our flight plan. 29 palms to TNP, uh, and then over here to the thermal Palm Spring uh, Palm Springs, uh, Jacqueline Conquerin Regional Airport KTRM. So that's our flight plan for now. We are good and. We're going to be looking for a south departure out of here. We're going to fly at VOR. We're going to pick up flight following. Should be good. And then let's look at Jacqueline Palm Springs and see what the approaches are into that air airport. So it's the first thing we want to do is look at the airport. And we want to see whether or not this has... It does not have a tower, so this is an untowered airport. So we are not going, we're going to come into this Unicom, so we'll just fly a VOR. And we'll get some flight following, and then they'll tell us, hey, when you get, when you see the airport, let us know, and bingo, bango, off we go. So, should be super simple. Let's think about what the winds are here at this location. Do we have any uh, let's see. Oh, my sky vector is over here. Here it is. So Three four zero at eleven knots. So that's going to be quick, <laughs> to say the least. So we're going to be looking at landing on runway three five. Three five. So let's see if we can figure out. We're going to open the tab. Let's just figure out what the here's what the airport looks like. And let's see here, airport diagram. They should have an airport diagram. Huh, they don't have an airport diagram. That's really interesting. Uh, so, in the absence of everything else, I am going to say that we're going to do a right downwind entry for landing on 3-4. Cool. Easy peasy. Should be a great little flight. So now the question is if we're going to fly uh, if we're going to fly VFR, we need to determine what our own altitude is. And we only need to be at 7,800 is our minimum. So we've got to be, we want to be higher than that. And 
um, we're going to be going evens. So I would say, let's say 12,500. So we're going to call and get uh, VFR departure okay so we are epic E1000 slant golf request flight following to Jacqueline Cochrane Regional Altitude uh, twelve thousand five hundred. That seems to make sense to me. All of that looks good. And then he will give us some instruction instructions. Cool. That's awesome. I am good with that. So let's go ahead and we'll pop all this stuff back over onto the screen over here. We will file a flight plan. It's a VFR flight plan, so they won't actually be able to see this, but I need to file it for the software to pick up our route. Epic. Slant Gulf. Archer, K I F P K T R M. We'll just make sure that that's correct. K I F P K T R M. 12,500. And then our route 29 palms. And once we get to 29 palms, we'll go direct. VFR, file that flight plan. Looks like we're good. Let's come in here, transponder. We're still on VFR. That's exactly where we want it to be. We'll bring up our map. We'll bring up our flight plan, and we'll insert our first waypoint. KIFP, that's where we are. Uh, insert departure, or insert waypoint. EED needles and needles we're still going to have to do the same holding pattern two five seven and zero seven seven until this time we get up to seven thousand eight hundred feet which is our en route and if we look at how we're going to get there it's going to be a much easier entry. We're going to fly through, fly through, and do a teardrop entry. So we're going to fly through, and then we're going to establish ourselves on the 275 inbound. Uh, and we'll hold at that location until we reach 7,800. So that works. And, yeah, we're good there. That's awesome. Okay, so once we go to needles, we're going to insert an airway, which is Victor 208. And then the next one we're going to go with is 29 palms TNP. So that's good. 
and then once we have that we're going to insert an airway uh, not an airway we're going to insert a waypoint and this will be KTRM Jacqueline Conkern cool 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 so we've got about 35 miles between these two waypoints so that'll give us some time uh, to begin our descent um, down to the field altitude and the field altitude, let's see if we can figure out what the field altitude is. Should be able to do that. Uh, let's see here. Altitude is 1, uh, 135 feet. So it is nice and low. Uh, 1,200 feet will be our pattern entry level. Yeah, we'll be good to go. Good to go. So what we need to drop down from 12,500 uh, all the way down to, let's just say it's 1,500 to keep the math easy. Uh, so that's an 11,000 drop. And so we're gonna need 33 miles to do that. We've got 35 miles. Uh, probably start trying to drop buff, uh, lower our altitude before that happens. Okay, so I'm okay with that flight plan. There we are. Let's pop on some radios and pop back over to Bullhead Tower. This is what we have got here. And what is... Bullhead Tower is going to be over to Los Angeles Center on 134.65. So 134.65 is what will probably be given. And yeah. Obstacle departure procedure 164 is the heading. And I'm going to have to connect back to the network here real quick. So we will connect back to Pilot Edge. Connected to Pilot Edge. There it is. Welcome back, everybody. And we are going to get out of here. So let's uh, hit that function button. Needles is still an important VOR for us. So we've got needles still in the in the cross hatches. And at least initially we'll be on 164 back out to needles on a heading mode, so that's that's not a big deal. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get everything turned on, started up, and fired up. Fuel pumps, and bam, pull this all the way back. Uh, igniters, altitude. Fuel select, all that fun stuff. Beacon is on, and let's start the plane. Right now, uniform radar contact, say altitude. Uh, 2,400, uh, climbing at 3,500. Button right uniform, Roger, you're restricted that or below 2,500 for now. Check engine. There we go. Below two, at or below 2,800 uniform. 2,500 as I gave to you and your parents. 5,900 uniform, connect so Caldebridge. Okay. So Caldebridge, 890 uniform. Pressurization system's on, radar is on. We're gonna be in heading mode initially when we pop this thing in, so that's good. Uh, and at least for now, we've gotta go up to 7,800, or we, wanna, we just wanna go up all the way to 12,500. Uh, if we can, we'll see what he says about that. And we are on Bullhead Tower, so let's give them a call.
Bullhead Tower, uh, Epic. I'm sorry, I'll call you back on ground. Three Victor Tango. <laughs> yep so what happened there just for everybody else it says when tower is in up get clearance from there I don't know why we wouldn't have just gotten it from ground all the time Las Vegas tower southwest 1083 uh, holding short 25 right ready to go with pop up southwest 1083 Las Vegas tower when 100 zero seven runway 26 right clear for takeoff Two six right, ready for takeoff for Southwest ten eighty three. Thank you. Bullhead Tower, Epic one four three, Victor Tango. Request flight following to Jacqueline Conklin Regional Altitude one thousand two hundred. For 143 Victor Tango Roger LA Center Frequency on Departure 134.65 Squawk 5063. Squawk 5063, and I think I said our altitude wrong. We're looking for 12,500 through Victor Tango. Roger. Roger, clear citation 9017 Julian, my IFR to San Diego. Number 917, Juliet Lima, Ontario, clearance could be being cleared to the Lindbergh Airport. Nickel 1 departure to the Paradise Viewer of this file. T4000, expect 11000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4, squawk 6670. Citation 7, Juliet, cleared to San Diego, Nickel 1, Paradise 4000, 11000, five minutes after 135.46620. 917, Juliet Lima, I'm going to amend that for you. Actually, be climbed by acidic at maintain 7,000 and the squawk code 6670. Climb SID 6,000 and, or 7,000 and then squawk 6670. 7, Juliet Lima, we back here. Six three altitude. Bullhead ground, Epic 143 Victor Tango, ready to taxi Alpha 4. 143 Victor Tango, bullhead ground, runway 16, taxi by Alpha. 16 by Alpha, 3 Victor Tango. Southwest 1083, connect Las Vegas departure. 125.9 for 1083, thank you. So we'll give us some quick look around. This is Alpha 4. We're going to come down here and we'll give another quick look to the left and to the right. And we'll bang a right hand turn here. And we'll head this away towards 1 6. Everything's looking good. So we're going to fly heading 164. Uh, to EED and once we get to EED then we need to do some fancy flying and that's only if we are not above 7800 so we are going to go up to 160 and we're going to climb our best rate of climb all the way up to 2500. So 
So we're going to hit this KIS button. And we'll head up. So we're going to fly through, make a right hand turn, and then re intercept the uh, 265 radi uh, the radial if we need to. Head Tower, Epic 143, Victor Tango, holding short, 16. 143, Victor Tango, Bullet Tower, on course approved, from 16, clear for takeoff, 114015. On course, and clear for takeoff, 163, Victor Tango. So that means I can do whatever it is I need to do. So we'll go ahead and roll out here. Pop on our landing lights and our strobe, make sure our generator is running. Activate the pusher and inertial separators. One six identified, power forward. And up we go. Autopilot engage. Gear up. That wasn't so good. Flaps over speed. I've got no flaps up. I got my flaps up. Okay, so let's see here where we're going. We're really cranking out some power. Seven Juliet Lima, Jerry Ground Runway two six left. Taxi by Sierra Whiskey. Sierra Whiskey two six left. Citation seven Juliet. Three Victor Tango, Connect the Lee Center, 134.65. We'll see you later. 34.65. Thanks so much. See you later. Three Victor Tango. Clear five stair, Papa, turn right, heading 140. And we easily are going to make our 7,800 before we reach uh, Edwards. Center Epic 143 Victor Tango 8000 for 12,500. Epic 143 Victor Tango Los Angeles Center Ida. Ida 3 Victor Tango. Epic 3 Victor Tango, radar contact 16 miles uh, north of Needles VOR, Needles altimeter 2986, resume appropriate VFR altitudes. Resuming appropriate VFR altitudes, 3 Victor Tango. 
All right, so she told us just to do whatever the hell we wanted, <laughs> as long as we had appropriate altitudes. Clear five Sierra Papa, you're four miles from Umber. Maintain five thousand till established localizer. Cleared islands runway one six right approach. So you know what? I want to go a little higher. Southwest 1083, Los Angeles Center, climb and maintain flight level 280. And just FYI, the top altitude on that departure is flight level 190. You should have let levels off. I think all the way up to 14,500. Skygate, not a uniform. Fullerton Airport, 12 o'clock, one zero miles reporting site. All right, so here we go. We're going to go 14,500. Because we are going south and west. South and west is even, plus 500 for VFR. Sky Gate Niner Uniform, thank you. Radar services terminated. Squawk Bay Fire, contact bulletin tower 119.1. So here we go. Up, up, and away. If I see our Papa contact Van Ice Tower, 119.3. We're reaching 14,500, and now we can accelerate to our cruise speed. So I'm going to pull this back just a little bit, bring these numbers out of the yellow and the red. And we'll pull our condition levers back just a little bit, lean out our mixture, make our engine work a little less hard, and away we go. some rich little farmland right in the middle of the desert <laughs> wonder how much their water bill is huh that's kind of crazy beautiful bright green like that sitting out in the middle of of the Arizona desert unbelievable it's just crazy. It's really cool. Really neat. So we're about to make a right-hand turn here. And we're going to get ourselves a nice 21-knot headwind. Fuel tank switched. And that certainly will be fun. Approaching waypoint. So here's our right turn. Let's look out the window as we make that turn. Huh. Well, that's something you don't see every day, right there. That area has been blurred out of a perfectly good tile. So I don't know what's there. So Might be military. Nine seven, Juliet, Lima, Soka departure, radar contact, quarantine, nine hundred thousand. Might not be. Who knows? Southwest 1083 after Hector to Cinema Team, fly level 240. Hey there, Jay Wetzel 1492. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great night. I am. Southwest 1083, correction. Does send me the Disney One arrival? I am having a great time. Just hanging out here on the airplane. American 6295, contact Albuquerque Center, 134.32. Have a great evening. And we are, let me go ahead and bring this over for you so you can see where we are. We just, whoops, that's not what I was looking for. So you get one three for point three two. We just took off out of Laughlin. We just flew to Needles, and now we're flying all the way down Thank here. 
we're actually going to be flying on over to 29 Palms. So, Agent Palms. Loot Room after Paradise, come and maintain 1-1000. One, one so, really, we're going to be flying to 29 Palms directly. So, that's kind of, kind of sort of wrong, but we're going to fly along Victor 208. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, this is all ortho scenery in X-Plane 11. And I started doing this uh, a couple months ago. So I'm definitely looking to, to learn along with everybody else. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm, I'm happy to try to answer them. And if I don't know them, we'll figure it out together. So here's our schedule. Uh, if you'd like to check us out. Nice look at the desert here. We're flying over Arizona, and we're going to be landing in a small little regional airport. And we're doing the Pilot Edge Alphabet Challenge. That's what we're working on right now. Beautiful plane footage. And so my goal is to fly the entire Alphabet Challenge here in the East Coast and then to move over to the West Coast and fly the Alphabet Challenge over there. The Alphabet Challenge on Pilot Edge basically says you fly, take off from an, an, uh, an Alpha named uh, airport and then fly to a Bravo and from a Bravo to a Charlie and then Charlie to Delta, etc, etc. So there's a, there's a handful of flights for you and it's really super interesting. I like flying these mid-altitude flights because you get to look around and really get good looks. That's where we were just coming from. I just noticed this flying out of here. I don't know if you saw this or not, but yeah, a little, little blur in the tile. So that's kind of cool. It's a quiet night tonight, Tuesday night on Pilot Edge. So we're not hearing an awful lot of traffic, but the uh, young lady that you hear is my air traffic controller. She is, we're actually flying VFR right now, which means we're flying visual rules. And we have to keep looking out, make sure that we're not going to hit anyone, which I don't think is going to be a problem out here tonight. But uh, we have to be looking around, keeping an eye on things. We're not allowed to fly through any clouds or any of that sort of stuff. And... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and kind of cruise. Because as you can see, it is beautiful and clear. So, no reason to worry about any sort of clouds. And, yeah. It's just a, just a great little flight. She is keeping an eye on us. Um, we have asked for flight following. So, if we deviate too far or too much uh, she will ask us what we are what we think we're doing <laughs> so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal we've got about 70 miles from our next destination we'll, we'll start down um, maybe 10 or so miles 15 miles before we reach 29 palms and once we reach 29 palms We'll make a left-hand turn into the air, uh, into the area for our airport, and we'll we'll go over to 
Um, actually, I think I'm going to get a frequency change before I get there, because I think we've got a, a SoCal departure frequency or a Los Angeles center frequency over there a little closer. So I'm going to set this up on uh, 128. Because there is no towered airport here. But I'm going to go ahead and set this up just in case. 128.15. And that will give me, that will just make sure that I'm really ready if I, if I need to use that. In my second radio over here, we're going to set up the Concord Regional. And this is 123.0. So I'm definitely done with this at this point. So we will oops, set up 123.0. Because we will definitely need that as we are coming into this untowered, what appears to be an untowered airport. And we're planning on a right downwind for runway 35. That's a plan. Right downwind into runway 35. So here's what the airport looks like, just so you know. And we're going to be planning on flying, we're going to sort of be flying this way towards this VOR here in the center. And so we're going to want to come in, enter the downwind, make our base leg and then land right here and then we'll exit onto Foxtrot and come over here and park right here over here. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Let's go ahead and pop out, take a take another look at the plane and the ortho and everything around. We've got a few minutes. because we're only about halfway to our 29 bombs destination. Wow, just look at those mountains. Doesn't that look cool? You can see when it does rain, all the runoff, all the runoff that comes down right through here Just so super neat. I don't know. Every time I, every time I fly with this ortho, it, it it just blows me away at how amazing it looks. I know everybody else likes to fly those big giant jumbo jetliners all the way up, you know, 38,000, 40,000 feet in the air, but you can't see stuff like this when you're when you're that high up in the air. I mean, who's going to notice this tiny little road right here that runs in the middle of the desert? Tiny little road out in the middle of nowhere. Citation 7 Julia Lima, Caltech Circle Approach 119.6. And there's like, looks like a little Southwest town. 1083, contact Los Angeles Center, 126.35. A little smattering of towns and buildings and stuff. That might be a railway, a railroad that runs there Southwest or something. Southwest 1083, contact Los Angeles Center, 126.35. Epic 3 Victor Tango, contact Los Angeles Center, 126.35. 126.35, 3 Victor Tango. Citation 917, Juliet Lima, Circle Approach, Polymer Altimeter, 2986. Fly heading 140. Uh, Victor. I was uh, so close. Visual Approach, or correction, localizer, runway 27 approach, unless you're looking for the RNAV. Set him 18, 7000. I was so close. I'm giving him a bunch of time to read that back. I gotta give him at Southwest least as much time. Southwest 1083, Los Angeles Center. How do you read? Uh oh, we've got a missing plane. A missing Southwest jet. Somebody alert the press. Alert the press. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! 
alert the press. <laughs> Los Angeles Center, Epic 143, Victor Tango, 14,500. Epic 143 for Tango, Los Angeles Center, 29 Palms, altimeter uh, 29081. 29081, 3 Victor Tango. And someone else was checking in, say again. Nanza 600 Mike Alpha, or you said Goff, uh, your rate of contact. Pull around altimeter 2986, you got traffic off your one o'clock, two and a half miles, opposite direction, altitude, and a K3500 type of now. So we got a different frequency. I was close. I was close. <laughs> I was close. All right, we're going to go ahead and start our descent down just to just to start this process. And we're going to go down to 8,500. Los Angeles Center, 3 Victor Tango, leaving 14,500. Uh, 143 Victor Tango, say again. We are vacating 14,500 through Victor Tango. Roger. We're actually going to get down there a lot quicker than we planned, which is kind of nice. But we're only about halfway down for what we need to do. We're going to take us about 15 miles or so down to 8,500. We're still going to be above the minimum vectoring altitudes. So I don't, I don't think that there's any problem on that. And as long as we stay at or above uh, 8,500 we're going to be fine until we get a little closer. Because the Southwest next... Southwest 1083, Los Angeles Center, how to read? The next is 7,000 is the MEA on the next one. We're not actually technically on the airway. Um, so we don't technically have to follow its rules. But just kind of keeping an eye on this whole thing. Switched. Hey there, good evening, uh, Tylenol with Wings and Sean. Uh, welcome back. Glad to see you. We are doing another flight here. We are on our way over to uh, Palm Springs, Jacqueline Conquerin Regional Airport. So we are flying over there. We're about to make our left-hand turn, which is our direct over to the, to the airport. And we're flying VFR. So we are just cruising along. Uh, and we are actually going really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and slow us way down because we don't want to get into any of that. Uh, we're doing 310 uh, true. That's a, that's a quick, quick flight. <laughs> we'll slow that down here a little bit. And we'll lose our frame rate as we do it. We're probably loading some scenery in. That should correct itself here just momentarily. Sorry for the stutter. That's x plane for you. Now we're back out to about 50 frames per second. Which is pretty good. T 
Tylenol with Wings. That's an awesome name. It's a really, really great name. <laughs> so I have a feeling our airport is going to be just over these mountains in that little valley right there. That's going to be my guess. So, I am not going to fly directly towards it, because that's going to leave me in a bit of a bad shape. Uh, Citation 7, Julia Lima, contact circle approach 124.35. I'm going to go into heading mode here real quick. And we're going to turn left. And we're going to try to get into this valley here a little bit before I turn back towards the airport. Citation 9017, Juliet Lima, circle approach, lumber graph, timeter 2989, descend on 18, 5000. Bonanza Zero Mike Alpha, contact circle approach 128.1. Alright, didn't need to slow it down quite that much. Let's go ahead and bring our speed back up. 220 knots is pretty darn good. We slowed way down after we finished the descent. So we'll actually bring that up here a little bit. So, here's the plane we're flying. And the airport is going to be... Citation 7 Juliet Lima, flight heading 180. It's going to be right over here around to the west. Then it's a 600 Mike Alpha, slow call approach, John 1, altimeter 2986. Uh, proceed direct signal peak. And we're able to do this because we're flying VFR. We don't have any routes that we have to fly. We don't have to do any of that stuff. We can just look out the windows and fly the plane right now, which is kind of neat. So we get this nice low approach. Citation 7 Juliet Lima, routine 5000, reduce speed to 200. Now that said, we got to make sure that we clear these hills ourselves rather than anybody else telling us how to, how to get over them. So it's, uh, you know, our own little problem. But that's okay. We don't mind. We are going to check a couple of things real quick. Because there is another airport over here. And I am just going to make sure that we are not going to impede on any of their airspace. Uh, 29 Palms International is over there. So we got to watch out for that guy. And but we're good. He's more off to our right. So it looks like your transponder map um, got bombed. Verify squawking six six seven zero. As long as we don't get anywhere near him, we're we should be good. We've got. Uh, surface to 10,000 feet. Citation 7 Julian Lima, I'm showing you at 220 knots, now ground speed. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. That is 3,000 feet, so we're going to be more than okay. We've got no problems whatsoever. Citation 7 Julian Lima, 4 miles from Vida, turn right heading 240. Maintain 3,800 till established localizer, cleared localizer, room 27 approach. Epic 3 Victor Tango, contact circle approach 126.7. 126.7, Victor Tango. Southwest 1083, actually we're SoCal approach, but I'm looking for you. Uh, not sure what happened there. I see. Are you still descending to Disney? Southwest 1083, so call approach. Southwest 1083, change my frequency 
Oh, we might have some other mountains to go around. <laughs> that may be just a little further away. SoCal Approach, Epic 143, Victor Tango, 8,500. Epic 143, Victor Tango, SoCal Approach, Palm Springs, altimeter 2969er. 2-9-er, 6-9-er, 3 Victor Tango. I'm going to climb a little bit. Southwest 1083, SoCal Approach, John 1, altimeter 2 9 Flight present heading, send to maintain 6,000 Vector ILS from our teaser right approach. Hmm. So. I really want to go that way. Southwest 1083, affirmative. Huh. Let's think here for just a minute. That is 10 miles. So it is only a few miles over that particular set of hills. We are going to bang a left and we're going to follow this down to that uh, to the water there. Let's see what the RNAV approach is. 1083, turn right. Start your turn now, please. Turn right, heading 300. Okay, so, yeah, straight to the thermal VOR. There's three Victor Tango Thermal, Jack and Cochrane Airports, 12 o'clock on Windsor Miles, report in sight. Affirmative. We'll look for the airport, three Victor Tango. It's got to be down there in the... Yeah, there it is right there. SoCal uh, uh, approach, 3 Victor Tango. We have the airport in sight, 3 Victor Tango. I think 3 Victor Tango, Roger Raider Services, Terminate, Squawk VFR frequency change approved. VFR frequency change approved, 3 Victor Tango. Southwest 1083, just going to maintain 4,000. Zero Mike Alpha, contact John Wayne Tower 126, correction, 119.9er. Contact John Wayne Tower 118.3, have a great night. Okay, so uh, 123, and she's got me squawking VFR, back transponder VFR. So we are good there. Okay, so we're going to cross over the thermal VOR, and we are going to go outbound uh, on the 127 radial. So we're waypoint. we need to slow this way down. And we're going to go 307. That's the wrong direction. Jacqueline traffic, Epic 143, Victor Tango, descending into the traffic. pattern. Traffic. We're going to do the procedure turn VOR Alpha A, Jacqueline. Climb. Climb.
clear of conflict. Okay, so that is not how you're supposed to do that. Uh, I just screwed that up but royal because I was real late on finding all of that traffic and everything. So we are, yeah, it just really screwed it up. Lincoln Regional, Epic 143, Victor Tango, four miles, uh, entering um, right downwind for 3-5, three Victor Tango. Approaching waypoint. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Finally got it set it up. And let's go ahead and make our turn. Conquering traffic, three Victor Tango, right base, three five, runway three five. Fuel tank switched. Keep an eye on our speed. Flaps to full. There's the runway. Continue to turn. Continue the turn. And autopilot off my airplane. Let's go ahead and continue this turn and begin our descent. You're down. You're down. Cock and traffic, Epic 143, Victor Tango, uh, short final, runway 35, Cochrane. Trim the nose down a little bit. It's kind of fighting me up. high, but that's okay. We'll make it up. It's a nice long runway. There. 
Oh gosh, we're floating it all the way down the runway. There we go. Don't need to be going backwards. Uh, that was one of my worst landings ever. Hey there, uh, Scotty, how you doing? Uh, that was a terrible landing that you just got to see. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I was way too high all the way in and just did not negotiate that very well. So, we'll go up here at, uh, off of Foxtrot 1 and we'll take off or we'll we'll get off of the runway here and then we'll call yep i thought it was the whole airport i thought was <laughs> oh i'm sure you're fine there <laughs> It was, it was just really super high, and because I was so high, I was way too fast, and yeah, it's just, it just floated on me all the way down the, the runway, so. Conquerin Regional, Epic 143 Victor Tango, clear of 3-5, taxi Foxtrot Alpha to the, ramp, uh, to the gate, 3 Victor Tango. But I appreciate the sentiment anywhere there, Sean. I, it's, uh, it, it is very appreciated. So we are going to be getting out of here here shortly. It is 11.15 p.m. here on the East Coast. And uh, if you liked what you saw, if you liked the, the stream, if you want to see more, uh, go ahead and throw me a follow. Um, on Twitch, it would, it would mean the world to me if you guys are, are hanging out. Um, I'm learning how to fly. I started flying just a few months ago. I'm flying on the Pilot Edge network. So we get full ATC coverage on all of the flights that I do. And from there, we are just going to keep doing more and more of these flights. And they're going to get bigger, longer, more complicated, more things to get right, more things to get wrong. So uh, if, if you would, throw me a follow. I stream on Tuesdays starting at about 8 p.m. Eastern, and go till about 11.30 Eastern. So we do a little bit of about three, three and a half hours. And then uh, I also stream on Thursday nights uh, at about the same time. So from 11.30 uh, to, or until about 11.30 Eastern, from about 8, 8 p.m. So you get two nights a week, and... Uh, I also throw in bonus uh, weekend streams when I have time. So that's sort of something special that you get to do. And this airport has not been built yet in X-Plane, so we don't get to see a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. So we're going to go over here and we'll just park it and hang out for just a minute. Awesome, Sean. Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Follows mean everything to me right now. And because that's what helps me get uh, get Twitch status as well. So that's going to be awesome. So we're going over here. We're just going to park it up. Park it up right in here. This looks like a good little spot. We'll just throw it right here. I have no idea where I am. I'm probably parked in a building somewhere. We'll take a quick look at the uh, at the outside of the airplane. We'll pull the uh, pull the fuel back, go into cutoff mode. And that's going to be the Epic E1000. We'll get the doors open. Uh, we'll pop in our little starter gen so we get a little bit of a little bit of fuel there. We'll open up the doors. We'll let everybody out. Bring out everybody's bags, and we'll call it a night. If you guys got any other questions, I'll be hanging around here in the in the chat room for just a second while I get things shut down. Feel free to type them up, ask. I'll answer them if at all possible. Thanks for flying with me tonight. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And we're going to do more of this with uh, more learning how to fly 
uh, more flights, more ortho, all of those things. And it's just going to be a great, great time. So once again, thanks for hanging out. I am Jay, uh, Jay Falcon, and we'll see you next time.